Welcome back to another review with Yella Motors. Today we have with us the Genesis GV80 and that is the first SUV by Genesis. Genesis is the luxury arm of Hyundai. So Yella, let's take this for a ride and let's all learn about it. So let's take the GV80 for a ride. Now the first thing is suction dose and it brings me into my last seated position. So push to start. And now if I do want to adjust my seats furthermore, it marks or highlights rather what part of the seat adjustment am I touching. So that gets highlighted and it also graphically shows me how my seat is moving forward or backward. It's graphically there. Super cool. Cool. Let's take this for a ride. So the drive quality is absolutely fabulous. Let's listen to what it sounds like. That sounds amazing. Now talking about the engine, it is a 3.5 liter V6 turbocharged and churns out about 375 horsepower. But that's not the fun number. The real fun number is in the torque because it stands at 300 and sorry, not 300, 530 newton meters of torque. And that's the reason it gives you this, this feeling of acceleration, your pushback. So in terms of sports mode and comfort mode, it doesn't matter. It really gives you that feeling. So you connect instantly with this car. And that's what I really, really appreciate. Other than drive quality, um, in terms of suspension, fabulous. What's a really important thing to notice? Now, luxury cars, it's all about the quiet cabin and this does it fabulously. So the miniature windows are up, it kind of cancels out all that noise on the outside, noise that you don't want to be hearing. So you have a nice quiet cabin. All you want to listen to is that engine rumble. So I absolutely adore the entire drive feel really really great anywho enough about the drive let's talk about what this car has on the inside so let's have a little tour of the interior now the first thing you would notice as soon as you sit in the cabin is that it's extremely minimal and that's the concept they're going for they're trying to go for less is more and i think they've achieved that brilliantly they have one large screen here and that is the main focus. It's not here, it's not anywhere else. It is just that, and that is amazing. It, when you sit in, you just feel that luxury kicking right in. So that's fact number one. Now, secondly, the seats, they, it's leather all over, and we have diamond cut seats. The way it's shaped, the way it feels, the way it seats you, it's beautiful. Like, you're just comfortable the minute you sit yourself here. And it's not just comfort, it's luxurious comfort. So this review is going to be a little different. I want to include features as we move about within the interiors. Now, beginning with feature number one is the instrument cluster. This is super cool, but you can actually have this in 3D. So it's not going to be as obvious on a camera, but when you are looking at it in reality, it's so evident. So I really like that fact. I've never seen that on any other car. Up next is that your instrument cluster can be, um, I would say, designed based on what mode you are. So as you switch your drive modes, we do have three drive modes here, which is eco, sports and comfort. And the fourth one would be individual. So that's kind of a combination of all the other three. So depending on what mode you are, your instrument cluster changes accordingly. And while I'm looking at this area here, super cool feature. I love this. The indicators switch on a camera for when you're indicating left, left, and when you're looking uh, to the right, indicating right, you have the right. Now, what's insane is that because let's say you're driving, you switch on your indicator, your speedometer is on the left. While the camera switched on, it also shows you your speed. And whereas on the right, it shows you your RPM. So that is amazing. So it's not like you have to wonder, oh, how much am I driving at that point? What's my speed? You don't need to look at your heads up display either. The fact that the camera and the speed are shown there together is fabulous. Talking about cameras, moving on to the next one, we do have our parking sensor. So we do have bird's eye view, a 360 of the camera and augmented reality. Now you can control this, spin it around with your fingers or use the little dial here that I'm going to talk about later. So you can spin it around like we and just go all around it. 
talking about augmented reality since we're here let's look at the maps now the maps as well works on augmented reality so the fact that you can see this so cool i i am so impressed by this Alrighty, so that is super cool with the maps. Now, remember I mentioned this dial. Now, this is a mouse in every sense. You can scroll with this little exterior chrome finish and you can even scroll and click and do everything that you need to with this little center um, navigator there. So I think this is super cool that it works both ways. It's clickable, the scroll is clickable, everything works like a genuine mouse. This is the first time I'm going to talk about this on a review and we're going to talk about sounds of the car. This car has 18 speakers and that's a lot. It pretty much is a little party and a little boombox in the car. Now, I'd like to firstly talk about the radio. So the radio is so cute because it works like a little dial. And as we tune, there are two options. You can tune from here and from another option here. It moves around as you choose your station. So I think that is amazing. Next thing. Now, let's say you don't want to listen to the music on your phone via Bluetooth. You don't want to listen to the radio. You don't want to listen to people talking either. You just want to be at peace and be calm. We have an option called Sounds of Nature. And I think that is super cool. Number one, you can listen to the most calming sounds and things like a fireplace, things like rain waves and open air cafe it is super cool that it has all these options and it's so realistic so this is a free and amazing feature up next in the features is a blue light filter again i have never seen that on another car and you can schedule your blue light filter and of course blue light is to give you that uh, comfort on your eyes during nighttime really cool Another thing about since we're on our screen right here, it has the option in the Middle Eastern region. I think Hyundai has always kept this in mind and being very respectful is that it has the option to show you the Qibla. So that is great. Anything else on this screen since there's so much? 14.5 mm, inches, by the way, touch screen, but doesn't have haptic feedback. So let's now move to the next screen, which is right here for our climate control. So the climate control seat is touchscreen again and it has haptic feedback which means as you you feel like you're pressing buttons but it's actually a touchscreen a very interesting feature on on the screen is that most cars usually have a bunch of buttons or options that you need to choose on where you want to direct air to here it's super simple you have arrows you can just click and unclick them on the screen and it's super simple another thing i'd like to mention while we're talking about the ac is the fact that the AC vents are in one nice line. Remember the minimalism concept? Oh, I can never say that. We're such a tongue twister. But the point is that it looks really clean here. Alrighty, now let's talk storage. We have three compartments. This is a little slide storage. Also has a charging mat and USB ports right here. Over here we have cup holders. We've got a button here that opens up our storage, which is really spacious. But you know what? I realized that three wasn't enough and they had to have a little fourth storage compartment which is the secret storage compartment which is underneath the center console so it's right this area here which is accessible by the passenger as well so it's underneath here that's that's a little cool woof i've been talking so much about so many features it's just that this car is packed with so much more i'd love to go into detail into everything but that's going to probably be an ours review and we don't want to be doing that so probably the last feature i'd like to mention being in this seat is the panoramic roof which further extends into a sunroof uh, with the front one here. So, yep, enough about all of this. Wow, it is pretty sunny in Dubai. So let's hop into the back seat and check that out. So here I am in the second row, and yes, the car only has two rows, so I'm in the back seats. Now, first thing you'd notice, ample amount of legroom. If I was a taller person, I'd probably prefer to sit on this seat just because I can move the front seat with two little buttons here, so as per my convenience. Up next, second thing, I love me some curric, usually always have a beverage on me. So cup holders, where are they? They usually would be right here, but here they've worked this as a great armrest. So where are the cup holders? Right here in the center. So really neat, well done. Up next, I'd like to talk about the climate on this side of uh, the car. So this is a single zone, but 
the seats are ventilated and that's great and you also do have USB charging ports right under the aircon system here. The last thing that I'd like to mention here are vanity mirrors. This is really rare so it's great that you do have vanity mirrors for the second row. And um, anything else? I think that was the last thing. Ah, yes, this. <laughs> so we do have electronically controlled shades. So yep, that's about it with the rear seats. Now that we've checked out how the car drives, and that is amazing, we've looked at the interiors, which looks gorgeous. Let's talk about the sleek exterior, beginning with this grille. That is a really large grille and it's diamond cut. Now the Genesis GV80 is here for presence and I think it really achieves that with this really large grille. Right over that we have the Genesis Batch which is the logo with its wings. Moving over to the headlights. Now they're split into two strips. It's quad headlights, two on the top, two below that. Now two strips being our keyword, these two headlights extend over to the fender in symmetry. Now the fender is not functional, there are no vents, it just has little chrome for aesthetic, but the fact that they're in symmetry is what looks amazing when you look at the car from the side. Now the wheels are 22 inches, so my favorite part about honestly this entire look is the fact that it is in symmetry. Moving over to the rear, now yet again we do have the two stripes like we saw in the front. In the brake lights it's split into two. What I would want to mention here is that Genesis is highlighted over the model name itself which is the GV80 which is smaller there but the Genesis is the brand name that they're trying to push forward. A very interesting thing and something that I thought was really really smart is that most cars have a handle or a button or something to be pressing or pulling in terms of opening up the boots. But here we have that hidden button and that is on the rear wiper. So that's where it is and there we go. This is opening up. While we're here, let's have a look at that boot space. And another interesting thing is that the second row can be folded and that is done electronically with these buttons here. So there you have it, nice and big space as well. Now that we've looked at the car on the inside, taken it for a drive, looked at it from the outside, finally I'd like to say that I absolutely adore the Genesis GVAC. To let you know about its competition, now I am going to put it onto the league with the German cars. So we're looking at the BMW X5, the Mercedes GLE and the Audi Q5. So that's our competition and in regards to price, it stands at 299,000 dirhams. And that honestly, considering the features, considering what it's made of, everything put in all together is definitely worthy. Let us know what you think about the car. What do you like about it? In case you dislike something, we'd love to know. So do let us know about that. And hey, don't forget to subscribe. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for our next review shortly and we're going to see you soon. Thank you so much for watching.